Hi everyone, I'm Miss Alex and I'm so excited to learn with you today. All year long, we have been learning about God's big story from the Bible by looking at different attributes of God. Can you remember some of the attributes that we've talked about? Go ahead and shout them out. Good job! You know a lot of God's attributes. God's attributes tell us what He is like, and we have seen from God's Word that He is all of those things and so much more. Today, we are going to focus on what it means to know God, because we can know the people in our lives in different ways. Two of my good friends are going to help us learn more about that. It's Miss Anna and Miss Kim. Let's listen and see what we can learn about knowing God. Hey guys, it's Miss Kim and Miss Anna, and we're here to do the Mumbo Mumbo! Mumbo! So stand, stand up. up and let's get ready in three, two, one. And he said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22 verses 37 through 39. These 40 events from the Bible tell us God's big story, the story of Scripture. So let's sing them out together. Ready, set, here we go. Creation, fall, promise, flood, tower of Babel, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Joseph, slaves in Egypt. Moses, Red Sea, Wilderness, Jordan, River, Joshua, Conquest of the Promised Land, Judges, Samuel, the Prophet, King Saul, King David, King Solomon, Kingdom split, Prophets speak, Israel conquered by Syria, Judah conquered by Babylon, Exiles returned, Temple rebuilt, 400 years of silence Jesus is born Lives a perfect life Disciples follow Jesus Dies on the cross Buried in a tomb Jesus is resurrected Ascends to heaven Holy Spirit comes The gospel is shared to all the earth The church waits Jesus returns The kingdom of God forever Kim. Hey, Anna. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm great, too. <laughs> what are you up to? Oh, I'm just checking out my friends. Uh, I have friends. You have friends, too? Uh, yeah, look. 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 It's The Rock. You're uh -huh. friends with The Rock? <laughs> yeah. You didn't know? <laughs> no. Yeah. The Rock. Look, there's Dude Perfect. There's Elsa. Wait. Elsa? Um, Kim, you know Elsa's not. Do you see her? I know she's there, but she's right there. Mm, never mind. <laughs> Wait a minute. You mean to tell me you're actual friends with these people? Well, I know all about them. I look. I look. I know what what the Rock likes to eat. I know his workout routine. I know every, pretty much everything about him. I even researched. I know where he lives. Wow, that is knowing <laughs> a lot about them. But Kim, it doesn't sound like you actually know these people. What's the difference? I mean, I follow them on Insta and TikTok. Oh, let me give you some examples of the difference. For a moment, I want you to think about your parents. Okay, uh, yeah, but um, my parents aren't famous. They aren't even on social media. <laughs> I know that your parents aren't famous, but I'm sure you know them. Think about it for a moment. When you think about your parents, at first, you might think about what their names are or what they look like, maybe even what they like to eat. But if you think really hard, you know a lot more about them. I mean, that's true, but I really don't know where you're going with this. <laughs> Hang in there with me, Kim. Okay. okay. So knowing your mom and dad, you have had experiences with them. You've spent time with them. You don't just know about them, you know who they are. And Kim, they know you. Do you kind of see the difference? 
I think I see the difference. So there are people that I know about, like I know all the facts about them, like The Rock and Elsa, who is real. Yeah, but then there are other people that, that I really know, that I'm in a relationship with, and then they know me too. That's like my parents. That's right. Okay. Just like there are two ways that we can know people, there are two ways that we can know God. Really? Yeah. There are those that just know the facts about God. Like he created the world in six days, mm -hmm. he flooded the earth. Maybe they even know that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for their sins. But those are just the facts. That's knowing about God. I actually know all those facts. You do? Yes, I got them on a, a bookmark from Kids Village. It had all of them on there and I'll get you one. I would love one. <laughs> Kim, it is so good to know about God. But God wants us to know more than just the facts about Him. He wants a relationship with us, like a relationship with your parents. Okay, well, I really like that idea, but here's the thing. I am with my parents all the time. I can see them, I can hug them, I can be with them, like this, Anna. But I see that, Kim. I, I can't see God, and mm. I can't be with God like this. That is true. You can't see God or touch God, but a relationship with Him, it starts with believing what the Bible says about His Son. Okay, so there's knowing the facts, like you can answer a bunch of questions about Jesus. Yes, and then there's believing the facts about Him. Have you ever heard of John 3.16? Yes, it was one of our memory verses in Kids Village. Yay! I know it. Do you want to say it with me? Yes. Let's say it. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Great job, Kim. Oh, yes. No. Okay, sorry. Don't do the wacha. <laughs> According to John 3, 16, God loved the people of the world so much that he was willing for his son Jesus to come and die for sin so that anyone who believed could have eternal life with him. Kim, God wants us to have a relationship with him just as close as you and I have one or with your parents or even your brother. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so Jesus is God's son and anyone can have a relationship with him if they know and believe the fact that God loved them so much that he sent Jesus to die on the cross for their sins. You've got it. Okay. We have to know and believe. Know and believe. That's right, the, the love that God has for us. Oh, that is so amazing. So God just doesn't want me to know the facts about him. He wants me to believe him. So I, I know him differently than I know The Rock or Elsa. Much differently, yes. Kim, I have loved talking about God with you today, but there is one thing that I feel like we really need to talk about. What's that? It's this whole Elsa thing. What are you talking about? Kim, Elsa isn't. No, isn't She's right here. Oh, Let's talk about it. Yeah. What did you learn about God today? The truth we see in God's Word is that knowing God means believing the Bible is true. Remember all of the attributes we've learned this year? Those attributes are God's way of letting you know about Him. God tells you about Himself in the Bible. God wants you to know that He is good and experience His goodness. He wants you to know He is wise, that He does what is best. God wants you to know that He is generous as you look at His creation and His blessings to all people. Most of all, He wants you to know that He is loving, that even though sin separates people from God, He sent Jesus to save them. Do you know a lot of stories from the Bible? That's great. The Bible tells us who God is and what He has done, but it's not enough to only know stories about Him. God wants us to believe what He tells us in His Word. 1 John chapter 4, verse 16 says, God is love, and whoever abides in or accepts God's love abides in or accepts God, and God abides in him. This verse is saying that we can have a relationship with God if we know and believe that the love of God is real. God wants us to know that he loves us so much that he sent Jesus to take the punishment for our sin. And anyone who believes that is adopted into his family. 
If you know the facts of the Bible and you want to believe, God is already working in your heart. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Faith helps us believe in Jesus, believe the Bible, and accept God's love. But this verse says faith is a gift from God, which means that we can't make ourselves have faith in Him. If you want to know God and have a relationship with Him, you can pray and tell Him that. I promise He will give you the gift of faith. And here's the best part. The Bible talks about this in Isaiah chapter 43, verse 10. It says, You are my witnesses, declares the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me no God was formed, nor shall there be any after me. I am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. Did you hear that? God wants you to know Him and believe Him, so He will help you understand more and more about Him. Do you believe God loved you so much that He sent Jesus to die for your sins? Do you believe that God wants to have a relationship with you? He wants to talk with you. He wants to spend time with you. He wants you to know Him as well as Miss Kim knows her parents. If you want to know God like that, but aren't sure if you do, pray and ask Him to help you know, understand, and believe that He is who He says He is. Maybe you already know God, but you want to know Him even more. That's great, because there are always more things for us to learn about God. Here are some ways that you can spend time with Him. One, read your Bible. Two, go to church. Three, pray. Four, find friends that also want to know God and do the first three things together. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you loved us so much that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for our sins. Um, and thank you that you made a way for us to have a relationship with you through Jesus. God, would you give us faith to believe that you are who you say you are and that you do what you say you will do. Help us to know you more. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Talk about what you learned today with your family. Here are a few questions to get you started. One, how does God want us to know him? Two, how can we know God? Is it something we do or is it a gift from God? Three, do we have to believe in Jesus to really know God? Four, how can we get to know God more?
Thanks for joining us. For more information and additional resources for both kids and parents, check out our TVC Kids site located on the homepage of thevillagechurch.net. Bye.